Hey guys, we are going to recap a movie called Berlin Syndrome. Keep watching because it's a great mystery movie. The film opens with a girl named Claire, who has just arrived from Australia to Berlin, Germany. This is her first time visiting Germany after she left her job in Australia and decided to work on her own as a photographer. She was very impressed with the city. Because she doesn't have a lot of money, she decided to live in a cheap place. At night, she went out to the roof of the hotel. She found a lot of young men there and she decided to spend the night with them after one of them invited her. She stayed there until morning came and everyone left except her. She photographed the sunrise scene. After that, she took her camera and went into the street. She started walking and meditating in the city streets. She took some pictures, then she went to the library and looked for books that talked about art and photography. After she left, a man came next to her and pretended that his books had fallen to the ground. She helped him carry his books. After that, they got to know each other. He told her that his name was Andy and that he taught English at school. He also recognized her and knew that she had just come from Australia. Then she received a call from her mother, but she did not answer the call. She told him that her mother was very worried about her. He asked her if her mother knew that she had traveled and she told him that she knew that. He asked her about the reason for her visit to Germany. She told him that she was working as a photographer in a real estate marketing company, but she resigned and decided to work on her own and travel because she loves adventure. He told her that she was brave and that her mother should not worry about her. She liked the way he talked to her. They continued together until night fell. He also drove her to her residence. We noticed that she liked him and she offered to spend more time together. She told him that they could spend their evening at the nightclub in the hotel, but he told her that he had an important appointment. She told him that she would travel to another city tomorrow and that they might not see each other again. So he approached her and when she approached him, he moved away and apologized to her. She left the car embarrassed and looked at him, but he didn't look at her. In her room, she kept looking at the pictures she had taken. The next day, she went to the same place where she met Andy. She kept looking for him. She went to the library to get a book to read, but she was surprised when she found Andy there and he was carrying the same book that she was reading yesterday. She approached him and touched his hand. He felt happy because she did not travel. They went out to spend some time. He noticed that she was wearing a necklace with a ring, so he asked her if she had taken this ring from someone. She told him that this ring belonged to her mother and that she had had it since her childhood. Then they go to Andy's house. She is surprised that the place where he lives is almost deserted. They spent a romantic night together. The next day, he went to work at school and left Claire alone. After she woke up, she took pictures of the apartment, but then she was surprised that the apartment door was locked and Andy had not left her any key. She also noticed a locked room. She tried to look for the key, but did not find it. She felt worried, but she tried to convince herself that Andy had forgotten to leave her the key. When Andy returned, she asked him why he didn't leave the key. He apologized for that and told her that he forgot about it because he was used to living alone. When she asked him if he wanted to imprison her, he smiled and told her that he imprisoned her so that she would not escape. They also spent the night together. And in the morning when he was about to leave, she asked him to leave the key for her. After that, she woke up and had breakfast. Then when she saw the pictures that Andy took of her, she noticed that her necklace was not there. She also found the word, you are mine, on her back. She tried to open the door with the key he left for her, but she was surprised that the door did not open. She tried to get out of the window, but she also found that the window was closed. She was also surprised that her SIM card had been removed from her phone. She felt worried and tried to break the window glass, but she could not because the glass was shatterproof. She felt trapped in this place. When he returned home, he found her in front of the door. She told him that she wanted to go out to buy some things and that she would come back, but he quickly closed the door and remained silent. She asked him, why he was silent. He told her that she was the one who chose not to travel and stay with him. And she was also the one who told him that she wished to stay with him all her life. She feels angry and hits him and he tries to catch her and control her. The next day, we see Andy going to his father. He told him that his new girlfriend lives with him. His father thought he was talking about the girl he told him about, who is called Natalie. But he told him that this was another girl. His father asked her if she was from Germany, but he told him that she was from Australia. His father was surprised by this because his son dates most of the girls from outside the country who are tourists. After that, he returns to the apartment and unties Claire. He told her about his father and he also told her that he told him about her and that he also sent her a gift. She felt strange about him and thought he was mentally ill. He also told her that he called her mother and told her that she was fine so that she would not worry about her. She asked him why he was doing this to her. 
She went to the bathroom to shower, but the surprise was that she found another girl's hair. She understood that she was definitely not the first girl he had done this with. He kept taking pictures of her. She was calm with him as she tried to find a way out. The next day when he left, she continued searching for anything that might help her open the door. She found a screwdriver under the chair. She tried to open the door, but her attempts failed. After he returned to the apartment, he found her happy with the gift his father sent her. He thought she was certain that there was no way to escape from the place. He sat next to her, but suddenly she hit his hand with the screwdriver hard, took the key, and left. When she tried to open the outside door, she couldn't, and Andy also reached her. He closed the door on her hand, and from the severity of the pain, she lost consciousness. Then he brought her back to the apartment. The next day, he went to work at school. There, he stared at a girl named Franca. She was also looking at him. The looks of admiration between them were evident, but he did not talk to her because she is a student and is still young. When he returned to the apartment, he found her reading a book. He started trimming her nails and also took her to the bathroom to shower. But suddenly he heard someone knocking on the door. He put his hand on her mouth and threatened her that if she spoke, he would kill the person knocking on the door. When he opened the door, he was surprised to find Franca. He asked her how she got to his apartment. She told him that she followed him and that she knew that he liked her and she also liked him. But suddenly, Claire left. He immediately closed the door and asked her not to come back again and that he would inform the school principal if she came again. After Franca left, she asked him about her and he told her that she was a student at the school. After a while, he went to visit his father, but he was surprised that his father was dead. He returned to the apartment with all his things. He told her that his father had died. She sympathizes with him. On New Year's Day, he brought her a gift that consisted of two books. One of the books was about her country, Australia, and the second gift was that he brought her a dog. She was very happy. Then she asked him why he chose her to be with him. He told her that he saw her on the street alone and she caught his attention when she was taking pictures. He knew she was a tourist. Then she asked him about the girl who was there before. He refused to tell her that, and he denied that there was a girl before her in the apartment. He also told her that he would let her go out with him. He took her to the forest, but suddenly a little boy appeared and asked them for help because his big brother was injured. He actually went to help his brother. So she took advantage of the opportunity and told the child that Andy was an evil person and that he was imprisoning her but she was surprised when she learned that the child did not understand the English language. Andy noticed this and threatened her that he might kill these people and it would be because of her. After that, they returned to the apartment. As punishment, he took the dog from her and left it in the street. Several days later, he went to attend a party with his friends. She tried to take advantage of the opportunity to open the locked room. Indeed, she was able to open the room and she found many pictures of other girls. She understood that Andy was bringing in a lot of girls and locking them up. She noticed a man standing in the window of the building in front of them. She tried to get his attention and called him to help her. She brought out a flashlight and caught his attention. Indeed, he went to her and tried to open the door, but suddenly, Andy appeared behind him, hit him with an iron and killed him. She was shocked. He forced her to help him get rid of the body. Then, he started blaming her because she was the reason for this. The next day, he was at home, reviewing the homework of the students, including Franca. She saw Franca's name, so she decided to take advantage because she knew Franca knew where the apartment was, so she decided to leave a message in Franca's notebook. To make Andy not feel this, she burned her hand. So he went to get the burn ointment. She took advantage of the opportunity and put her pictures of Andy torturing her in Franca's notebook. The next day at school, Franca found the picture and knew what Andy was doing. When she left, the picture fell from her notebook. Then she went to Andy's apartment. One of the students finds the picture and all the students discover it. Andy notices this and understands what Claire has done. So he tried to follow her. But when he arrived at the apartment, he did not find Claire. He heard voices in the other apartment, which supposedly no one lives in. So he went to the apartment and was calling her to come out, but she did not answer him. He heard her voice calling him from his apartment, but he didn't find it either. Then she calls him, and closes the apartment door on him. Thus, she was able to lock him inside the apartment. Then she left and was extremely happy. 